Sure was a great idea to use this alleyway as a shortcut, Professor Steeples. Yes, Professor Nash. We will never encounter danger here. Oh, and I have good news. This morning I received a hand-typed letter from my wife, Ethel. I think she might be willing to give me another chance. Professor Nash, these are divorce papers. Being illiterate fucking sucks. Well, what do we have here? The kids from MIT. Yeah, the Massachusetts Institute of Tools. <laughs> well, if it isn't renowned Harvard intellectual Henry Louis Gates Jr. and his crimson cronies. Hey, Steeples, I read your dissertation on harmonic representation analysis. While mathematically sound, it was really just a regurgitation of my nutsack. <laughs> Nutsacks do not regurgitate, and you know that! Ah, Professor Nash. I heard you got hit in the head with a toaster oven. And you're now nothing more than a retarded shadow of your former self. Yes, good exposition. Now get the fuck out of here. This random alleyway is MIT territory. You shouldn't talk that way to us Ivy Leaguer steeples. You're a dead man. Wow. That was awkward. I wonder what he meant by you're a dead man. I think he meant it metaphorically. Like, uh, you're in trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! No! He meant it literally! In order to claim our revenge, we've challenged Harvard to an official street fight. And they've agreed. I hope you're ready. Of course we're ready. We have the great Raymond Nash. Hey, everybody, remember what Nash did back in 82 against Bunker Hill Community College? Tell him Nash. Yes, I decapitated their entire English department with my bare hands. And then I ate their heads. Yeah, it's that time again. We're meeting Harvard at the scrap metal yard at noon to discuss the terms of battle. You're dismissed. Dean Erickson, I don't know how I feel about going into battle with you. And why is that, Raymond? Well, for one, you're dating my wife. Professor Nash, do you have a penis or a vagina? I believe I have a penis. Well, then I'll see you at noon. Hello? Ethel, did you hear? The professors are going to war with Harvard. Isn't that exciting? Not really. Ruby, you know how I feel about war. But that's what men do, real men. Like your sexy new boyfriend, Dean Erickson. I just hate violence. How can you hate a violence? Violence is the best. If it wasn't for violence, there would be no America. You do have a point there, Dad. So, will you be joining me on the sidelines? I'm not sure. Ethel. Guns? Too loud. And I don't need any more run-ins with the police. Guns with silencers? Too silent. We're not studying in a library, we're murdering each other. What about switchblades? I'm listening. We'll fight one-on-one. -on -one. A knife in one hand and a wrist bound to the wrist of the opponent. Just like in the beat -in video. A curious yet intriguing form of organized bloodletting. You have a deal. Good! We'll see you here at midnight tonight. Hey Nash, where are you going? I'm sorry. I can't be a part of this. I finally realized why my Ethel was so anti-war. Excuse me. Pussy. <laughs> my dear Ethel, how can I win you back? Stop the war.
Nash, we did it. We avenged Dippel's death. Y you mean I missed the fight? Yes, where were you? I was dancing. Oh, you should have seen the dear. He was glorious. Yes, he's over there with your wife. Ethel's here? You missed quite a battle, Nash. We killed every Harvard professor in existence. And what do you think of this, Ethel? I thought it was... sexy. What? But you hate war! It's what men do, Raymond. I have more bad news. We're engaged. What? After disemboweling my last victim, I thought it would be romantic to propose to Ethel. She said yes! Dear God, you guys move fast! Sign the divorce papers, Raymond. Come along, Ethel. How could you be with that douche? Ethel, I love you! <laughs> Why am I always crying?